Hello, I'm Carrie Mullins. What did you have to do to become an astronaut? Well, there's different paths to become an astronaut. Um, some astronauts are uh, military pilots. Uh, most of them are also test pilots. Uh, some astronauts are scientists or engineers. And uh, a lot of astronauts have mixed backgrounds. Like they are pilots, but they also have a background in science or engineering. Or, or medicine. You can also study medicine. We have also doctors um, in, among our fellow astronauts. So those are main, uh, main paths. Uh, it's important you know, to work hard in school, to do well. Um, and I like to say it's really important to choose a career you know, before you become an astronaut that you really love, that you're passionate about. Because that, that's really the, the key, the secret to being good at what you do. And you know, when you're good at what you do, then you're also a good candidate for the astronaut program. Hello, my name is Charlotte Basso and I go to uh, Watkins Elementary. I was just wondering, how do you move around in an anti-gravity um, environment? Hi, Charlotte. Um, like we were demonstrating before, that is uh, something that you kind of need to learn how to do and you have to learn quick because as soon as the rocket's engines shut down a few minutes after launch, you're weightless and you don't have time to learn how to walk. You just have to um, do it. But it takes a little bit of getting used to, but we've been here for long enough that that uh, that we know how to move. You have to move very slowly at first. And if you push just with a little bit of force, I don't know if you can see my finger here, but I'll push on, push on Samantha's shoulders and, that, and you start moving. So you have to control how much pushing and pulling you do. Otherwise, you'll go flying into the wall and hit your head on something. So you got to be careful. But um, it's really fun, and it's something that the humans can really learn how to do and adapt to.